So today we're talking about back friendly golf swings. According to the Journal of Sports Sciences, up to 21 million golfers at any one time are affected by lower back pain. We're looking at for anyway. Yeah, so coming up on this video, um, we're gonna firstly explain what we're doing on these crazy things. Secondly, he's gonna demonstrate a back friendly golf swing. And then thirdly, you're gonna find out who wins this crazy challenge. There you are. <laughs> so one way to alleviate some back pain is to actually shorten your golf swing, which a lot of golfers are fearful of doing uh, because they might think they're going to lose distance. Uh, but having a shorter back swing can really take pressure off your spine. And you know, the, the amount of pressure on your spine in the golf swing is massive. I'm going to just give you some stats, all right? Oh, cool. Now, apparently, it's around 7,500 newtons of compressive force into the spine during the downswing, wow. uh, which is about eight times the average human body weight. No way, just through the golf swing. 100%. So that's, that's a lot of compressive force going right into that area. That's it? quite staggering, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. <laughs> So I've hit some shots uh, with a shorter backswing to actually see what happens, but let's demonstrate that and show you the benefits of swinging the club with a shorter backswing. Well, it still went all right. Now that felt a lot shorter than my normal golf swing, and um, probably felt about here, but I definitely, there was a sensation of less strain on my back. Was it, was it tight or not? Relaxed? Not, not really. Felt a little bit as though the rhythm had changed okay. a bit. Uh, maybe felt a touch more rushed. But that's only because I haven't uh, practiced this enough. That shot went, uh, this is an eight iron that I've got here. It went 150 six yards carry, 167 yards in distance, which is still decent distance for me. Um, but if I do one now with uh, my full swing, let's see what a difference that makes. So that felt obviously more normal to me. Um, isn't that interesting? The same? No, it's gone shorter. That one only carried 150 and it went 160. So let's just see if that was happened by chance. I'll do a shorter swing, shorter feeling back swing again for me. Now I wasn't trying to hit that harder. It's got a touch left. Look at that again. That's, that's actually gone 10 yards further. It's carried 159 yards, gone 170 yards. It's still actually gone a bit further, even though my swing felt shorter. Um, not 100% why, sure why that's <laughs> happened. <laughs> um, did you feel like more in control when you golf swing? It, it did. It definitely felt shorter here, uh, and it uh, felt probably it felt a bit quicker, if I'm honest, on the on the way down but definitely less strain on my back. So, so when I'm kind of completing my backswing normally, and there's, there's a bigger turn here, that, that's on my lower back, there's definitely a bit more, more strain there. And when that felt a bit shorter, it was definitely less pain in my lower back. Well, that is really interesting, isn't it? I mean, what we're saying is just experiment with these things, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. I mean. I've never really done a short golf swing before, uh, and it didn't feel too bad to be honest. But more importantly, is it going to really help you with, you know, if you've got one of these back issues? Yeah, well, as we said earlier, there's like 21 million people suffering with lower back pain, golfers, almost every day. It's like it, it accounts for sometimes 25% of injuries in golf with lower back pain. So, you know, if you want to carry on playing golf into senior years, it's something to look at, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. But don't be fearful of having a shorter back swing because, as we've just demonstrated there, there's actually some nice benefits that come with it. Right. Yeah. I mean, always, if you've got less stress and tension, that's going to be so much better anyway, isn't it? So, um, you know, a tension-free golf swing is a back-friendly golf swing, really, isn't it? It has to help, Joe, because if your body's tightened up, how on earth can you move? And then if we put the restriction in there of keeping the head down, then that's going to start to, to jolt the body a little bit as well and, and cause those injuries. But uh, it's something that I think all golfers should think about, maybe shorten their golf swing, because yeah. clearly we can see we're not potentially losing that much distance. 
Okay, so um, talking about the challenge, there is really a serious point to the challenge as well. And I'm just going to read you some interesting information that basically um, when you attempt to the one leg balance, your brain is performing a remarkable amount of coordination. Because as you age, your balance deteriorates, okay? Yeah. Um, so it integrates signals coming from the fluid in your inner ears, visual clues from your eyes, and even feedback from your joints and muscles. It's a really important thing to do. And then, do you know as well, they did experiments on people that could actually stand on one leg. Yeah. And um, and they lived 13 years longer no than way. people that couldn't. Yeah, so that, either way, it's good for your goal, but it's generally good for your well-being yeah. as well to learn to stand on one leg, yeah. Great time to practice it when you're brushing your teeth, eh? 100%. You've been doing that then. Have you? You've been doing that? No. I bet you have. Anyway, let's see who wins the challenge. Bye. Oh, shit. <laughs> As always, if you're liking our YouTube videos, please like and share. And also, if you don't, that's your property as well. Um, but we hope to see you again soon. And there's a download as well. Yeah, there is. So uh, if you check out in the link below, there's a, a link to the three pillars of the proper golfing me methodology. Just as a quick reminder, that swinging tension free, releasing the club head correctly and holding that six second finish. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching anyway. We hope you have a lovely day and we'll see you again next time. Take care. Bye.